E, kwa hivyo kabla hatujaanza mazungumzo yetu tunakwenda katika kanisa la Holy Family Basilica ambako kuna uh, ibada ya vijana hao na kanisa eh, kuhusiana na swala la maandamano na watu ambao walifariki hebu tufike huko kwanza la tarejea We urge that the leadership of our nation will hear all the voices of the people, the young people, and of the many other Kenyans clamoring to be heard. The theme of the verse, as I told the Philippians 2, 3 to 4, reminds us that humility and listening go hand in hand. The verse emphasizes the need to prioritize the needs and interests of others above our own. By doing so, we cultivate community grounded in mutual respect and care. Listening to one another with a humble heart allows us to support them genuinely and showing Christ-like love in practical ways. This approach transforms relationships, fosters unity and understanding. You have done that in the media. You have listened to one another. You have come out as a formidable, formidable people who are solid, formidable people who are patriotic, formidable people who stand above class classes of our life standards, formidable people who stand up above ages that you form some sense of fulcrum for us to be united together. The young people who you are want to hear us take responsibility for everything that has gotten us to this point. Bishop has mentioned that. But even more than that, they are asking that we be very intentional about what we to do and what ch changes to make so that we never come back to where we are now. They are saying, or they are saying that status quo or empty promises will not silence them. That is what I've heard from your voices. They are saying that they are now willing to be, they are now will, they are willing to be intimidated or silenced, but not to be given handouts, but also are they are refusing that intimidation and silence because they would speak. One of the ways they began to make their voices heard are the protests that we have witnessed, to which they and every Kenyan have a right. We wish to condemn those who have taken over, hijacked the peaceful protests to cause loss of lives, loss of property, various other damages and losses as a country. As a people, as a democracy, we have to grow to the point where protests don't have to cause damages to make an impact. But based on this and these sentiments and witnesses of many who joined them on the streets, these young people can actually achieve a peaceful process. We thank you for remaining peaceful amid the turbulences that you went through. We applaud you that the young people are tribeless and partyless, they are classless and they are patriotic. They are reminding us 
that we are united by the common struggle for the common good, our common humility, uh, humanity, and our common identity as Kenyans. It's very important. All they care for is that we all hold Kenya as more important than our tribal affiliations and personal agenda. They are asking us to be selfless, to think of others as such as we think of ourselves, asking that we go beyond those many boundaries and, tie and titles that separate us. It is unfortunate and highly unacceptable that young people are being abducted and for talking and for asking it to be heard and demanding that leaders who leaders do what is actually their secret or their sacred mandate which they took by oath when they took office we demand that any uh, any of we demand that any who are abducted be released whenever they are. That is also your request. My dear young people, we have listened and we shall continue to listen. When you speak, we shall keep quiet and listen with our minds, with our hearts, and with our presence. We have, as it were, failed being invited by you, so that as we listen, you can also listen to our fault situations that we have made in life as Bishop mentioned. As we grow together, we grow with many mistakes, but listening and talking to one another in dialogue improves our status of life. As we all make our voices heard, let us mind one another. We don't have to be loud to be heard. We only need to be accurate and articulated and to find creative and peaceful ways of making ourselves hard. The loss of one life is too much, and the loss of business, livelihoods, and phones that are happening on the streets should be avoided, and it's very much avoidable if the authority wants to do that, and it should want it. Who can we not get there? How can we not get there if we want that we have goodwill for one another? Those who suffer such and other losses are people just like you and me. They have mothers, they have fathers, they have wives, husbands, children, siblings just like we do. We must say no to the insensitivity and selfish, selfishness in our society. So the kind that sees a fellow Kenyan being mugged in the streets or picked or pickpocketed or defrauded or other such every evil day, even things that evil things that go on every day, while others go on with their business as if nothing is happening, leads and shows and gives an expression of a wrong society. If we suffer, we do so as one people if we prosper. We prosper as one people as well. To our leaders, all our leaders, when you cannot face the people who elected you, when you cannot listen to them, and when you have to move away because they can no longer receive you, 
I don't know if there, if there is a greater uh, wake up call than to tell you now, wake up. Wake up to your call. For the sake of our young people, for the sake of our country, for, for God's sake, wake up and let us work. Father, I implore the government to address the thorny issues raised by these young people. They are issues that have, that have perpetuated in our lives, in our nation, and they have formed a certain lifestyle that is like cancer in our lives. Let us let the blood of Rex and his companions who lost their lives be a reason to make the government and be a reason to make all our leaders drop the hardline position and consider making significant changes in the way of running our nation. I urge the members of the National Assembly to develop a listening attitude towards the people they were elected to serve. And I believe it is possible to have, reason, uh, to have a reasonable balance between revenue and expenditure. Development cannot be enough reason to oppress people's lives and, and render them miserable. Listen to all these voices and let us have budget cuts, let us have priorities, and let us have professionalism. Let us ensure service delivery, that the service that the systems mend to serve the Kenyans people, the Kenyan people are actually working. Our youth are at a stage of shattered dreams and hopelessness. The state, the state of affairs in which they are, if it goes unchecked, will transform into a gigantic problem that has possibility of affecting our country very negatively. So Kenyans are a good people. Kenyans are a listening people. Kenyans are very free people to communicate with because they speak their mind. In fact, Kenyan, Kenya is a great and blessed country. Kenyans are hardworking. They are very salient, resilient and patient as well. All they are asking is that you and all of us leaders do for them what you, what we are mandated to do by the constitution and our offices. They will do the rest. They will develop the country. They will cater for one another. I conclude. I ask all the stakeholders to join hands led by the government and other stakeholders to address these our problems. My dear young people, uphold what has brought you together and build on that to form a future formidable nation. Follow your star. And today we have been told your star is Jesus Christ himself. And we are here for that reason. We know you can do it and you do it and God will bless you most abundantly. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Makofi kwa um photo asante. So four things four things I request about to happen. Um uh, the first your right hand on your chest or your left hand on your chest. The other one like this. On my honor. I promise that. I will be an ambassador of peace. 
So help me God. That is number one. Number two. Number two. We shall sing the national anthem, which is a prayer for our country. The national anthem is actually a prayer for our country. And then after the national anthem, we shall have um, um, Bishop Simon Peter give us a blessing. And then after that blessing, we shall have the concluding song. I think it's a... Is a Nyota, Nyota Maria? Yes. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay. And then also a blessing. Maybe first we can have a blessing of the rosaries. If your rosary you received today, just lift it up and then the bishop can bless this. We bless. A blessing bless. for rosary. You may arise. May arise. And please do your rosary, do your prayers every day. We need to pray more around this time. And uh, uh, the Catholic bishops and the entire church in Kenya, I request each one of you to join them in the prayers of the novena prayers to invoke the sacred heart of Jesus the sacred heart of Jesus to have mercy on us, to have mercy on our country. May God bless your rosaries. May, God, may you be humble like Mother Mary and Joseph. May Mother Mary intercede for our country. May Mother Mary intercede for our young people and their families. May God bless those rosaries as sacramentals and they may inspire your faith. May God bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before the final blessing, we have um, the national anthem. We sing it as a prayer for our country. National anthem. the media stations that have been present to cover this, Asanteri, the medics, there are some medics who are outside there, and ambulances, Asanteri, the central police, we have um, quite a number of central police um, officers who gladly accepted to come and ensure that we are not disrupted, disrupted coming in or going out. Um, and then our bishops, our two auxiliaries, they're even calling as we are here, they are very concerned they love us and we thank them for this. Um, our auxiliary here present, um, Simon uh, Peter, Bishop Simon Peter Kamomoy, thank you. Our Archbishop, thank you for being here with us and for this. And thanks to Holy Family Basilica, to our choirs, Asante Di Sana. So, we now have, we now have, we now have, we now have a blessing by the Bishop. And then the final song, there's another mass that should start in seven minutes. So, Niko Shoki Lam Domenda Misa, to Kubali, how in Guinea Mbawa Megojea, or in Guinea Misa Bahadea Hapa. So, I'll request the, 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 the choir to sing two stanzas, um, and then we begin uh, the other mass. Asante Nisana. My Lord Bishop. Thank you. Thank you. Allow me also to thank all of you, your grace, the Archbishop of Nairobi. Thank you. Thank you for your fatherly, very fatherly and wise words to the young people in our kidouses and in the entire country. Thank you. Thank you for appearing yourself. And also Father Victor, the chaplain, Father Dominic, the deputy chaplain, the chaplains, 
Thank you. And also the youth office, those who are helping in the office, the archdiocese. Thank you for this uh, planning and our choir and all of you. Like Bishop has said, I envy you. I have enjoyed your singing. I have enjoyed your liturgy. Honestly, honestly, I honestly have enjoyed a church of young people because you are singing all of you together. So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bear with us. You know, for you, you are young, you have a lot of energy. You know, for us, we are dinosaurs. We are in that age of dinosaurs, I hear. But still, we are with you. We are with you in this journey. Thank you very much for your participation. Please take care of one another, especially the young ones. Take care of one another. And be aware of the hoofs. Because Jesus said, I'm setting you like lambs among hoofs. Make sure you take care of the hoofs. Don't allow the hoofs to spoil your journey. To spoil your journey. Okay? So thank you very much. Once again, may God continue to bless you. Once again, with God, everything is possible. With God, everything is possible. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and protect you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our mercy is added. Go forth in peace of Christ. Naam hayo imekuwa ni ibada rasmi kwa vijana ambao wamekuwa wanaombea wenzao ambao wali eh, aga dunia ama walifariki wakati huu wa maandamano ambayo yamekuwa nasukumwa na vijana ajenda ikiwa wanataka mabadiliko na serikali eh, kupunguza ama kumaliza ubadilifu wa fedha za umma ufisadi miongoni eh, mwa mambo mengine kwa hivyo ibada hiyo imefanyika katika kanisa la Holy Family Basilica kwa wakatoliki na vile vile awali kulikuwa na ibada nyingine katika kanisa la All Saints Cathedral. E, kwa ufupi katika kanisa la Holy Family Basilica ambalo liliongozwa na askofu mkuu wa jimbo hilo Philip Panyolo amewataka ameitaka serikali kuhakikisha kwamba wale wanaodaiwa kutekwa nyara e, kuachiliwa na amesema kwamba kilio cha vijana hakitakiwi kupuuzwa na kwamba vijana wametoa dira kwa taifa na kanisa litakuwa likiwasikiza e, kuhusiana na swala hilo na pamoja na hayo amesema kwamba wajiepushe na fujo na amesema kwamba maandamano haya yalikuwa yameandaliwa kwa njia bora zaidi katika siku za kwanza kwanza lakini baadhi ya watu walikuja e, kuharibu ni mambo ambayo tutakuwa tunajadili kwa siasa za kanda manake e, kuna mambo ambayo yalifanyika awali kwamba rais William Ruto alitoa mapendekezo ya namna ya kukabili matatizo ambayo yanakumba 